so guys we will confirm this result in tecla potter frame yeah we we'll design we'll design this structure the potter frame in tecla structure confirm the result and the tecla structure also help us in connection design so let's get into it we will come to where you save your tecla potter frame and you start it when you start your tecla potter frame you open this do you help us when, when, when you start your tecla potter frame come in oh, oh. Okay, let me screenshot this so that I'm making use of it. Mm. click on new job number you write job number whatever job number you write the project this type of structure calculations by HD structures structure is T structure is T project is Project or is a project as a potter frame, potter, potter frame. Okay, so now effective frame centers. Effective frame centers. Let's open our talking about half of this. That is effective frame center. Our effective frame center is, is seven. So we'll go there. Effective frame center is seven. So, okay, click on come. So, when you come to this environment, you click on edit the span. The, the span, when we're talking about the span, we're talking about this distance, this 14 meters. That's the span. You put 14 meters, the eaves level that is from that's from here to here. Talk about the eaves level. I'll put seven meters. We use US hunch. Then rise. The height is two meters. Yeah, yeah. Then how do you determine this height? I use span effective depth ratio in 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 steel designers manual, but some people just assume many heights. Yeah, if you, if you read uh, from from our first le lecture, how I got my span effective depth ratio of our truss. That's how I did here. Then I click on OK. Let's let me see it. Let me see. Good. I'll click on OK. So now I'm done with that. I'll come to I'll come to these hunches. Coming to these hunches. You can see if it has already choosing this eaves eave span level one. Let me show you. It's talking about this distance. Where it's starting and where it's stopping. So we're going to use 1.5. If you use and it's not enough, it will fail. You can change. Okay. So then apex height left and right. We're talking about this 
and this yeah let's try one meter one meter then the depth for eaves coming down this distance is the depth for eaves 0 0.6 Zero points zero point six zero point six or oh, these eaves these eaves left are eaves right or zero point six then then these ones are the apex the this these ones this this the depth, the depth this side. Yeah, this very depth. From here to here. Can make this one 0 0.5. I'll make it 0 0.5. Okay. Rafters, steel rafters, columns. Is internal columns, internal columns. Okay. I think we are done. We are done in this place. This foundation. We are not designing the foundation with this software. So we can act. We have already even done the foundation, but we are using it to test. So we are not designing that. So. We can put here zero, zero, zero. Okay, so now it has generated this. Now that we are done with this, the next thing we are going to do is loading. We come to loading, load cases. So on the load cases now, these are the loads we have, the save weight, it will determine automatically. So let's now open our, our test book. Our structural steel frame test book. And we come to Porter frame. Come to Porter Frames on the Porter Frame Design. Good. So now, so now we are having we are having load here. This is sheeting sheeting loads. So let's check. She under under dead frame dead load you come to edit you can see one here this is the sheeting it's already there so we're going to now add service edit service load so let's come to this side let's come back and check for our service load here we're going to add this If you add if you add everything here you have 0 0.41 but since they have already have sheeting for us we're going to insert 0 0.31 we insert the rest of this 0 0.31 0 0.31 Good. Let's check if it's there. 0 0.31. Good. And then in post load, let's 
post load they already have but let's take a look here is 0.71 because there's also snow but in our country and in this country we don't have snow so our, we, we use 0.6 use 0 0.6 there okay okay we've done that so now next thing we we'll move to wind loading then we we'll click on wind loading under wind loading we we'll click on add our length of the building you check this building the length is 42 meters you add 42 you add 42 um the width is 14 meter i'll be calculated automatically so when you come here you choose intermediate zone on the left side you add you add here you leave it leave everything like this you add generate finish then you add again that, that seem there intermediate zone now you go for the right side the air the wind will also come to this side you add you add you add you generate you finish okay so the next thing now we are going to do the next thing we are going to do now is to come to design the codes as they see the codes this is the code that we have we are using bs code if you like you can use any of these ec depends on what you uh, what you use even the even the wind loading is bs code so now design we then, then we'll come to wizard design under wizard here deflection apex under this deflection over you can you can leave it and choose 250 mm -hmm. then other design groups we we'll choose this 275 that's what we're going with 275 external column internal column rafters rafter by order yeah do, do you really need to we will not really change anything here for now just or just this ones okay so now we can click on design okay see this one is the fee and serviceability so it seems we have to increase our column size right click on the column right click on the column universal beam we choose 203 203 so on the, sorry, on the, on the universal mm -hmm. column let's use 254 254 and 73 the same thing with what is here and see if it's going to pass and see as I select here see the one that you design I choose the same thing here it's face see this design here so let's also insert it here and see if it's going to design we'll select that the right column universal column we select the same thing we add okay and these columns too four four or six they look big let's choose it's over design there it looks like over design so let's choose three let's do the same thing here and see if it's going to pass Universal beam three. We choose this three or five. Well, so because why? Oh, 
you know that all this one I can big and uh, the hunch is going to take care of it but here we didn't design with hunch so you can see that these last beams came out very large so this last beam they came out very very large but in, in here our hunch is going to take care of it so we're going to choose beams that are in the middle yeah these are the ones that we, that really are the beams but coming to the edge the hunch will take care of it we'll not put the hunch our hunch is like 600 mm depth so it's much higher than what is here it's more way much higher than what is here mm. So now so now let's choose 254 by 102 by 22 in our portal frame and see 254 universal beam no let's see what will happen Yeah, the the columns, the the beam sections are a little bit higher, are a little bit lower. There's a warning, so we have to move. We we'll, we'll have to move these sections a higher. So we we'll choose universal you know, beam. We we'll choose three hundred five, one hundred two. Universal beam 305 102 as design 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 oh, still fade phase in serviceability Yeah, it will be causing it to fail. Let's 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 add our our hunch here and see hunches. Let's make this hunches one point two. Maybe the hunches are not enough for it. Okay, what about the hunches? Let's make this these rafters one oh five three oh six. No, let's make it this. Let's use this three oh six one two five three oh six one two five. Good. This has passed. Three, five, six. Okay. So this is this. We are going to go with it. So it shows that we will be going with. We will be going to. We will be going with this. We will be going with this session in our design. Three five six one two seven. Three five six one two seven. Three five six one two seven. So he has. So he has passed. You know, I was trying to be comic as well. I was choosing the lowest members to see how I can go. But on a normal day, you can just choose what is give you here and just design here and see if it is okay okay so now now we have this now that 
now they are looking now now this is looking okay so we'll, what the next thing we're going to do is we we'll say update connection but when you see when you click on update connection you can see these connections at the left here i can left click on one of these i can see my connections here okay this is looking okay so now all right click this and say edit design you click on edit design you come to face come to this face come to face a when you come to this face a now there are a lot of things here that you can adjust you can come to this hunch you, you are you're using this code okay this is the distance end plate when you come to this end plate here you can see that this is the one we'll be using then the end plate width is 250 I believe if it is 250 then thickness 20 mm uh, if you want to change you can change both other boats now boat layout boat layout now see this 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 is the pitch we will put this and make it 100 good and your number of rows this side let's say we'll make it three is it? number of rows three spacing at 100 this side 70 then this side number of rows we can make it two and then the spacing can be 120 no person can be 150 okay Let's say 100, 150. Let's see, 150. Good. Uh, this looks okay. Then come to boat here. Size 20 boat. Grade 8.8 .8 gauge. So 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 that is okay. Then under this welding. This welding. Oh, let's change this grace to 410. Four ten. Let's copy this. Oh, <laughs> copy. Copy. Okay. Welcome to the second one here. I just paste. For ten, for ten, for ten. So we have this. This is pass at eight. We leave it at that. At eight. We now come it at that. So we now come this left. You see, do the thing with the right. Then I work on the apex. Then is the apex. Is the apex. For the apex now. So come on the. Come to boats now. Boats now. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, okay, okay, as right. So, uh -huh. as right here. Uh -huh. Under end plate. Let's go for two. Under end. Five go for two seventy 
five bold layout I want to have up here I want to have three up here wanting if you want you want to increase your number of bolts depends on what if this one's free you have to increase this one's free you have to increase that was both layout boat and 20 or boat and 20 Concrete size, okay. Not going to change anything here. Reinforcements are not designing my reinforcements are not designing my footings here. I've already done that. Well done that. We'll leave it. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. So let's. So let's. Click on OK, right click and design. Everything has passed. You design. Same thing for the left hand side. Same thing for the left hand side. So now you can come back to your putter frame. You can come back to your putter frame here. You can right click, report content, click on report report content click on report content another another one is report view report review click on that click on that and You can, you can, as on the report, let's come back, as on the report, let's come back, you can see, come here, here, let's, let's check this, let's, let's check this. Can see export. Can see export this to DXF to DXF. I actually open this in DXF. I actually open this in DXF. Open it in AutoCAD. Open it in AutoCAD. I said that is the portal frame. I said that shows the portal card. Section and auto card. 5-4. So I'm going to work on it. You can change your background to white. You see these things. Your background to white. You see these things. Much better. 
pode... Click on any of these my or right click on any of these my if I right click and then export it to connection design and then export it to connection design where, where I can generate connection report generate connection report yeah yeah it, when it opens, you can access it here. This is that. This is it. So now, so now, here too, you can, you can do some checks. You can do some checks. It's fine. And you can, here too, here. Here too, here too in this connection designer you can also edit connect design on if you want edit connection if you want check design everything is okay so now we can right click everything is okay so now we can right click this here too, you can generate generate you can view report to be less fit with fit less fit to it Let's just convert it to PDF. Convert PDF. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. So the detail in PDF. So the so detail in PDF. So the the design report. Design report. Also, can also export. Export. Right yeah. Oh. Hello. Okay, this this one you can also check like connection designer check like connection designer 
everything is fine also export it you can also export it as dxf and go and open it you can see you can see is it in the XF? You come back to the portal frame. You you export it to connection design. Yeah, I'm exporting it. Okay, we'll also export this to okay. designer also to, to designer to, to connection designer check everything is fine check everything is fine can okay, right click I can generate my report my report PDF spot PDF Italian this thing don't like saving twice don't like saving twice yeah, no. everything I have to save somewhere else but the thing is you can replace it but the thing is you can replace it since like now I can replace that that oh because it's open we couldn't because it's open we can actually replace this this so what the woman now so what the woman open now can see my base I can now I can now save us and save it with a different name so each one I save with a different name so, that, so each one I save with a different name so that I can have my report and print it out so, and print it out so, my computer write a different name that I want that I want base so Come back here. Right click on this one back here. Right click on this one. Export to PDF. Sorry to DXF. Sorry to DXF. Base. 
base Here it's in there. Here it's oh. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Perfect. So perfect. So we can now be able to gather these things. Gather these things and do our detailing. Thanks for watching. 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 Thanks for watching.